welcome to Divine Marriage Program online. My name is Apostle Domi Ziano Mwenda. We are together with my wife, Pastor Florida Mwenda, and we take this opportunity to welcome you uh, tonight to Divine Marriage uh, Program online. This program comes to you every week, Monday to Friday, beginning at 9 p.m. East Africa time. And we are grateful for what the Lord has done. And we are happy uh, to, to uh, invite you again tonight. And uh, we are going to have a wonderful discussion uh, tonight, and I believe. Uh, you are going to be blessed. We are going to be blessed together. Uh, marriage is working and uh, every time you see us here, we have come on this program to uh, let you know that marriage works and even yours will work in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are mandated to raise and equip uh, godly families and it is my desire uh, that, uh, that, that God will uh, lift you up. Uh, you are going to excel in the area of marriage. You have not succeeded until you succeed in marriage. You have not succeeded until you succeed in your marriage relationship. Once you succeed in your marriage relationship, we can now for sure say you have succeeded. Welcome on board from wherever you may be tuned in. Let us know uh, what this program is doing in your life. Please let us have your, your testimonies, even your comments on the topics that we are discussing uh, tonight is well welcome and uh, uh, we are glad uh, when you talk to us, we feel good. When you talk to us, we feel encouraged. So uh, don't keep your testimony to yourself. Share it with us and we will be happy. Marriage requires high level of commitment. And that's what we remind you every time. Requires high level of commitment. And if you don't commit yourself to your marriage, you will not enjoy. Many couples uh, expect a lot from their marriage, but they do very little or even nothing to achieve their goals in marriage. So we invite you in the name of Jesus. Uh, feel welcome uh, from wherever you may be tuned in from. Uh, let us know and invite your friends. You can also share this broadcast uh, with your friends uh, on Facebook. And also uh, you can host watch parties and we are going to be blessed together. Make sure that you spread it to as many people as you can. Call your friends now. Send the link through your uh, uh, link even to, uh, to, the, to the other groups. Uh, also, you can send your link also to the uh, WhatsApp group that you have so that they know now we have started uh, the Divine Marriage uh, Program. And we will be glad uh, when you support us in that way. Uh, we say always marriage is under attack. And we try every time to speak to you so that you can come to your right senses and then begin to fight the battles that we need to fight and win and take over uh, the institution that God gave unto us that we may rejoice and be happy. Welcome and God bless you. Uh, tonight we continue with a topic uh, that we started yesterday and uh, we are going to be blessed. And I pray that God will open your eyes and we will also bless you and uh, cause your his light to shine upon you and even your family. That what the devil has tried to deprive you for many years, that the grace of the Lord will give unto you. And you are going to rejoice and be happy in your marriage relationship. And those who are not married, that the Lord will usher you into marriage and you will begin to be happy. You will enjoy, you will rejoice in that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are bowed by any force of darkness, the Lord shall set you free and you are going to reach the level of uh, happiness 
in marriage that the Lord has ordained and decreed for you. Welcome to Divine Marriage Program. And uh, you are going to be blessed tonight. And uh, you are going to receive something that will boost your confidence in marriage and also make you uh, live that happy marriage. Welcome, my dear. And uh, pray and then we begin directly. Today we have so much to share. So we need to begin as highly as we can. God bless you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, let us pray so that we can roll in the program tonight. And uh, kindly let us know from where you are tuned in from. It's very important. And uh, also what truly the Lord is doing in your life, in your family. And even those that are not married, the revelation, the understanding that you're getting, it's very important. When you share that testimony, at least you will know that there's something that the Lord is doing. And uh, all the honor and glory will go back to God. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We praise your beautiful name. We say thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for keeping us well. We thank you, even Lord, for giving us the gift of life. We know the dead cannot praise you. We are alive, and we are alive to decree your praises in the land of the living. We pray that this night you reign in our midst, Lord. You reign in our hearts. You reign in our minds. You reign in our environment. You reign in our families. You reign, Lord, in our nation and all over the nations of the world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will pray that you understand your intended purpose. I know there's nothing that you begins that will backfire on the way. You are able to perfect the good work that you started in our lives. I will pray, in God, your plan, purpose that you ordained for every marriage in this season, you manifest to us. We will know the hidden secrets in Jesus' mighty name. There is only joy from you, Lord. There is only pleasure to those who are known or now to serve you and God to honor you with their lives. We pray that every family, they will all be connected to you because you are our source. You came so that we may have life and have life in abundance. We refuse any other life that does not reflect the life of Christ. You created man and woman in your own image and in your own likeness. We refuse to conform to other images, to other forms that are contrary to your image and contrary to your form. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit will come upon us. You sent him as a helper. And we know if we submit to the Holy Ghost, we will never get lost. If we submit to your Holy Spirit, we will, Lord, uh, do that which you have purposed us to do. We commit all the families tonight and under your care. The Lord will lead, you will guide, and you will speak to us all. And even them that are, you give them insight that they will not compromise their faith, but they keep on trusting in you and depending on you. We bless you and we exhort you. You are our strength and you are our buckler. We pray that, Lord, you cause us to speak that which uh, comes from you. Help us and cause us to do your will tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and we have believed. Amen. 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 Welcome and God bless you. This is our Divine Marriage uh, Program. And this program comes to you every week, Monday and to Friday, uh, starting at 9 uh, p.m. East Africa time. Uh, we invite all of you from wherever you are tuned in. And let us know uh, where you are tuned in from. And also begin to share this uh, broadcast with your friends uh, on Facebook. You can begin to host uh, watch parties and you're going to be blessed uh, for doing that and God is going to be with you and God is going to manifest himself uh, in your life. We are working out our marriages and we say marriage is very sensitive. 
We need to work it out. Because if we don't work it out, uh, it uh, will not give us what we want. It's a very beautiful, very fertile field. And this uh, beautiful and fertile field needs someone to take good care of it. If we don't take good care of uh, this field, it uh, will uh, not give us what we really want. And when we uh, take good care of it, we are going to get the harvest. We are going to get everything that we need to get uh, from this uh, 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 beautiful thing called marriage. It is under many attacks. There are so many things that want to work against it. So we have to uh, work hard and make sure that uh, we provide everything needed in this uh, garden called marriage so that we can get everything uh, or the harvest will be uh, not be affected by anything. We shall have a sure harvest and we are going to be uh, blessed because of that. Welcome and God bless you uh, and uh, keep you. Let us move all the way together and uh, we are going to be blessed. We are looking at what we started yesterday. And we are glad uh, that we were able to cover something and uh, we, we are impressed by the testimonies uh, that we have received today, uh, both locally and also internationally. Uh, there are so many testimonies that we have received and we thank God and uh, uh, marriages are taking the right direction and we thank God for everything. Now, uh, God said that is in Genesis 2, 18, that it is not good, it is not sufficient, it is not even satisfactory, mm -hmm. that the man should be alone. Which man? The man who is a worshiper in the presence of the Lord. That is in the end, and it means worship. A man who has a job, a man who is able to cultivate, a man who is able to protect, and a man who has a vision or able to teach. Five things. And then God said, this man shall not be alone. I will give him, I will, I will make him, I will make him mm. a helper meet, suitable, adapted, suitable, adapted, complementary for him complementary for him so we are looking at those things that god considered or those things that god say that they shall be in that helper or helper permit that he is making so we look at them and we want to ask you are you suitable to your partner are you adapted or adaptable Mm -hmm. Are you now in marriage? You must be adapted. Yeah. Already, those who are getting married, uh, you look at the partner and see it's adaptable, adaptable. But those in marriage, they must be adapted already, mm -hmm. and they must be complementing, or they must be complementary to the to the to each other in this marriage relationship. Are you now adapted as a married person? And you who is preparing to get married, are you ready to be adapted? This is something that you need to answer. This is a question that you need to answer. And yesterday we were able to understand several things about this being a suitable partner or suitable uh, helper. Mm. Suitable helper. That's uh, in, the, in the side of the woman. And you man who is the leader, are you suitable in being helped? So we understand to be suitable is to, to, to make somebody to correspond or to fit or sweet. You correspond, you match, you sweet that person. Huh? You fit in his life. You fit for the function that you are brought in. Is a, a, a synonym is proportion. You become proportion to that person proportion to to this person 
And now, this is suitable. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, adaptable. Adaptable, you switch. You, you correspond. To be adapted is to fit. So have you free, been able to fit in that life of this man? Mm -hmm. Or this man is feeling, where you came from, are you able to fit yourself back there? Mm -hmm. So that this person feel complete. And feel that everything is okay. Are you fitting? Have you been able to fit in that, in that, in that man, in that, in that woman life? Are you been able to be suited or are you suitable? That's what we call to be adapted. You have become suitable now. Now, suitable, a person who is suitable, we say it is having sufficient or the required properties for a certain purpose or task. So, a certain purpose or task, you are having all what it takes. Mm -hmm. You are having all the requirements. And because you have the requirements, then you feed the life. You are bringing something. So we say, a wife brings something in the life of the husband. And the husband is giving something in the life of the wife. The two of you, you have something. Yeah. You have what it takes to fit in the life of that person. What is required for that occasion or for that uh, uh, function? Now, to uh, sweet also mean fit for purpose or up to standard. Mm -hmm. Sweet for that purpose or up to standard. Are you up to standard of that man? Are you up to standard? Are you fitting as a woman? Have you, uh, have you been able to fit that purpose? Mm -hmm. Are you up to standard? That's why I say, uh, not every woman can live with every man and not every man can live with every woman. Yeah. There are some people that you can, you can be able to handle. Mm. Not every man, not every uh, man can handle my wife. That's because I, it's quite a special grace. And that grace God looked around the world and saw, I have it. <laughs> and not every woman could be able to handle me. God looked around in every estate, in every village and said, this is the woman who what it, have what it takes to fit in this life. Of this person. So, do you have what it takes to fit in the life of that person? Or you don't have confidence even now? There is something you feel is missing, or there is something you feel that I cannot provide. Mm -hmm. This is what we want uh, to understand, and uh, we are going to uh, to to do uh, to to look into details where we left. And I believe somebody is going to be um, blessed. Uh, complimentary. When you are, you are somebody who is complimentary, yes, we said it is when you, you encourage, you give praise, you don't flatter. This man, you give him praise, you give him support, mm -hmm. not mocking. That's you compliment. Mm -hmm. And this compliment, the one compliment, complimentary uh, means also to express praise, congratulations, or respect. You can also, uh, it is something that you give free of charge. You don't charge it. <laughs> free of charge. You say, I will give you a compliment free of charge. And then free, provided uh, at no cost. Something that is free. You are given. So you are there free to give these compliments to your husband. Compliments to your wife. And it's given uh, freely. Now, we say this. Now you are coming to sweet. You are sweet. You are bringing something in the life of this. What is this which is expected that the woman brings into the life of man so that this man will say, this my wife has fitted in my life. Mm -hmm. What is this which woman is supposed to, pro to give into the life of man and there's a man saying, hey, this woman has fitted in my life and has made me complete. What is this man carries that this woman, when she finds him, says, this man makes me feel complete. What is this? And we need to go deep into this. What is the requirement of a woman? What is the requirement that man has that makes the woman feel 
that I am a complete woman. I want to tell you, not unless this happens, the woman will never feel complete in marriage. And not unless this happens, a man will not be complete in marriage. A man is not complete because he is having sex with the wife. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not that you must make a man complete. It is not it's that uh, it, the woman is not complete because this part of the woman is getting financial support and everything. No. There is something that a woman has when in she gets it from a man. She says, now I feel complete. And there is something when a man receives from the woman, the man says, now I am complete. Mm -hmm. And this is what is lacking in most marriages. We are trying to talk to you, to speak to people, but still that ability of being able to fit in, that life of that person, fit in until this person feels complete. Some partners are yet to fit in. Some wives are yet to fit in their wife, husbands. Some husbands are yet to fit in their wives. Could Welcome, it, my dear. Uh, could it be now that, uh, because uh, there are people who are in marriage, mm -hmm. and it's like they are still searching. Mm -hmm. They are not comfortable. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have that boldness. They don't have that courage. Mm -hmm. They have many questions that are not answered. Mm -hmm. And uh, the questions that they ask uh, themselves is uh, that did they make a mistake to mm -hmm. marry that partner? Mm -hmm. Could it be uh, because of lack of what we are talking tonight mm -hmm. is the main cause of many men who are not settled? Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you agree with me that many marriages are not settled. Mm -hmm. Many couples are not yet settled. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you even meet with some of them and they, they will say that um, we are just trying to settle. Mm -hmm. They are not settled They yet. are not settled. Mm -hmm. and some uh, marrying itself means to settle. I want to settle in life. Yeah. That's why you marry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, you will just meet them saying that they, they are not yet settled. Mm -hmm. So this night we are coming with this solution because mm -hmm. not, 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 not unless uh, a woman becomes suitable. Mm -hmm. when, when God uh, talked about uh, bringing a hair permit mm -hmm. to, to hand them, mm -hmm. as, as someone who is a, a, a helper, we can say it is someone who gives head mm -hmm. to another person. Mm -hmm. you, you give a certain head mm -hmm. to a, another person. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe the main cause or the main problem of even many women, mm -hmm. especially the wives, mm -hmm. because we, we, we have to be very categorical, mm -hmm. especially uh, uh, the wives, most of them, they have not settled in, mm -hmm. in their, in mar their marriages, in their marriages mm -hmm. because they, they, are not, uh, they have not adopted the divine wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. They are just uh, living in their marriage, mm -hmm. seeking the opinions of what is happening around. Mm -hmm. There are people who are seeking the opinion of other women, not in a divine way. Mm -hmm. They are just uh, trying to cope with the lifestyle of other women mm -hmm. and because of that they have they have taken a lot of time mm -hmm. to settle in their marriages mm -hmm. and because they have prolonged their period of settlement they cannot supply what they are supposed to supply mm -hmm. so the moment you will seek the godly view mm -hmm. and apply it in your marriage as a woman mm -hmm. this is the time you'll be fulfilled and this is the time your husband will be fulfilled. This is the time you bring joy to the life of this man. Mm -hmm. And this is the time you feel that he has gotten the right person. Mm -hmm. He has connected with the right person. Mm -hmm. This is the time that vacuum will... Where you are removed, when you come back, when you come back, if something was removed in a room mm -hmm. and that thing is brought back, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no vacuum. Mm -hmm. So it is within the plan and purpose of God. Whenever a man marries, this man should feel complete. Mm -hmm. This man, the vacuum or what he was lacking when the, the woman comes and fits in the life of this man, mm -hmm. this man should settle completely. So the, the, the process of fitting, if you can come and fail to supply 
be suitable. Mm -hmm. You feel to be adopted very quickly to the life of this person. Mm -hmm. You feel to be complimentary, to, compl to, to compliment this person. Mm -hmm. Then you will, you will make this man to be shaky. Mm -hmm. You will be unstable. You will be unstable. Mm -hmm. And when God good for man or for a man to be alone let us give him a help me mm. that word help me or helper if you cannot take it positively the way God ordained the power in this name mm -hmm. helper mm -hmm. you think that you are being demeaned mm -hmm. so there are people who just say I cannot just come to help somebody is he a, a blind person is he blind Mm -hmm. is, he, is, is, is he lame? Mm -hmm. is, is he mute? Is he dumb? Is, so you, you take that being a helper is being a person of a lower of quality, quality or grade. On grade. Mm. So people who are, complete, are complimented one another, they are two partners who are like counterparts. Mm -hmm. They are people, they, they carry, when it comes to God, he created man and woman the same time mm -hmm. but manifestation was now what distinguished mm -hmm. for example if uh like now i have two hands and if i can buy some glass mm -hmm. it's only that the left hand glove cannot be fit to mm -hmm. the right hand mm -hmm. yeah i cannot i cannot use the the left hand glove mm -hmm. in my right hand mm -hmm. And the vice versa. Yeah. So that does not mean that the right hand is or the left hand is 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 lesser than the right hand. Mm -hmm. the, the the left hand has got five five fingers or yeah, and the right hand has got five fingers. Mm -hmm. So when when it comes to a male and female, a husband and wife, mm -hmm. when I know that being a helper, I am coming to give aid mm -hmm. to my spouse, mm -hmm. to my husband. Mm -hmm. When Jesus said, let me go so that the Holy Ghost will come to help. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that the Holy Ghost is less when it comes to Trinity. Mm -hmm. We have gone the Father, gone the Son, and gone the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So <laughs> we are in the season of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, it is good I go that the Holy Spirit will come and mm -hmm. help you. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can say that a woman carries the nature of the Holy mm -hmm. It's like they are in the, in, in, in the, in the same position. Mm -hmm. And when, what the Holy Ghost is helping us to do, he is helping us to worship even God more. Mm -hmm. He is revealing to us everything that we are supposed to know. He is helping us to do things in a better way. Mm -hmm. And that's how the Samaritan woman, when they met with Jesus in John chapter number four, and Jesus, uh, when this woman perceived who Jesus was, Mm -hmm. Jesus, there's something that he said that a time is coming and now mm -hmm. is when the true or when the genuine worshippers shall worship the Father in truth and in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So when, 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 the, when, when we adopt that design of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and we understand that the Holy Ghost is here to help us as worshippers and a woman, you understand that I, I, I have come in the life of my husband to give him, to support him and to offer the necessary the necessary things or the necessary uh, tools that are required so that he can be more effective. This is the moment I will give my best. Mm -hmm. But if I come in your life and I feel that uh, it's like I came so that I can be demeaned, uh, demeaned so that I can be oppressed. Mm -hmm. So that mentality is what is making many uh, wise to be uh, non, uh, ma they, they are not functioning well the mm -hmm. way they are supposed to function because they feel as if they are undermined and that's not the will of God that's not the purpose of God mm -hmm. so when we understand our place as women mm -hmm. and we understand personally I understand uh, it is the plan of God it is within the will of God for me to bring support or to give support in the life of my husband mm -hmm. so the first thing that I, I, I am supposed to know so that I am be very effective in the life of my husband mm -hmm. it is to understand the divine core mm -hmm. the divine core of God uh -huh. When I understand the divine core of God, the divine agenda of God, mm. why did I come? 
Mm -hmm. When I understand the plan, that divine core of God, mm -hmm. it, I, have, I, I, have, I have been commissioned to mm -hmm. support. Amen. I have been commanded, I have been re uh, released by God so that I can come and support. Mm -hmm. Where now I need to seek from God, mm -hmm. what is this that I'm coming to do? Mm -hmm. What is this kind of support that I, I am bringing in the life of this man? Mm -hmm. And if, if, if I understand that, I will know it is my duty, it is my responsibility. Whatever I am doing in your life, it is being recorded mm -hmm. by God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the angels, uh, the, the, the Trinity, uh, every day God is watching what I am doing. Mm -hmm. Every day as a woman, God mm -hmm. is watching what you are doing in the life of your husband. Mm -hmm. And when you capture the divine plan or mm -hmm. the divine call mm -hmm. and you release yourself, what happens? God releases sufficient grace mm -hmm. god releases enough grace and that's how you come in the life of man and you fit because you are not just coming uh and uh, you begin to stay in this life you mm -hmm. are coming with an assignment you are coming carrying the divinity in you carrying the the, the agent of god in the life of this person mm -hmm. and you never feel as if it is a punishment mm -hmm. you see many if you as if it is it, it is a punishment to support a man uh -huh. it is a burden to be with this man and always to to, to be committed to the to the life of this man mm -hmm. so when you understand that divine core and the divine agenda mm -hmm. and you come in the life of this man from there seek to know mm -hmm. the vision the vision <laughs> where there's no vision mm -hmm. people perish mm -hmm. Any woman who falls into the hands of a man who has no vision mm -hmm. is a frustrated woman. Mm -hmm. And that woman cannot be settled in life. Mm -hmm. If a woman comes in the life of a man and this man is not a visionary, mm -hmm. he has no vision. Mm -hmm. This woman has no work to do. Mm -hmm. This, she has been reduced to an idle woman yeah, the rest of her life. And if she is re reduced to an idle woman, she is perverted already. Mm -hmm. She will be perverted. Mm -hmm. She will never be complete. She will mm -hmm. never feel that she is a woman enough. Mm -hmm. and, and every time there will be crisis. Many families that are having a lot of quarrels and a lot of crises, it is because every day a woman wants to know what is this man carrying what are you saying mm -hmm. where are you taking us mm -hmm. where is the next the, the, where is the the, the next step mm -hmm. what is the agenda and every time a woman will seek she will seek to know from the husband mm -hmm. so that she can do her duty to nurture that mm -hmm. vision mm -hmm. So that she can incubate that vision. Mm -hmm. A woman has got two hopes. Mm -hmm. She has the spiritual hope mm -hmm. and the physical hope. Yeah. The spiritual hope it is to nurture the seed of God. Mm -hmm. So if a man releases the seed of God, something that is of the spirit, mm -hmm. this woman will capture that will conceive that sin in her spirit, mm -hmm. she will incubate or nurture that seed. Mm -hmm. And later she will release something from from a from our nurturing or from a nursery. Mm -hmm. And how do we do it? We do it through prayers. Mm -hmm. You nurture that if right now if you come and confess something mm -hmm. that you want God to do, mm -hmm. either in our family, either in your in your in your life as an individual, or mm -hmm. either in the ministry, mm -hmm. that thing I don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. Anything that you say, oh God, I am desiring you do NBC or a vision. God, I'm desiring by the next one year, two years. Uh, this and this thing should happen. I mm -hmm. don't take those words lightly. Uh -huh. I always take those words. Then I go with those words to God. Mm -hmm. And I begin to pray over that issue. I begin to remind God over that issue. And finally, sometimes I can be even learned to go and sow a seed because of what? you are desiring God to do. Mm -hmm. And when I capture that spiritual vision mm -hmm. and I run with it to God, mm -hmm. with the time, it may not even go for two years. Mm -hmm. It may go even for one year or less. Mm -hmm. Why? I have just gone with this 
vision somewhere in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. I have irrigated this vision through my tears. On my knees, I've been, I've been groaning before God. And that is as when it comes now to the spiritual support, mm -hmm. I have supported that seed. And finally, that seed will manifest as something that is tangible. Mm -hmm. When God said, let us make a man, in our own image and in our own likeness, that was a word. Mm -hmm. But when, the, when that word was put in place, when man was created, man, I always say, man is a walking word. Mm -hmm. Man is a, a walking word, mm -hmm. a, a walking manifested word. So when, 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 when a man releases a vision, mm -hmm. It becomes very easy uh -huh. for a woman to run with that vision. Mm -hmm. Either a spiritual vision, mm -hmm. either a family vision, mm -hmm. either in his career, in his calling. Whatever he releases, it becomes very, very, very easy for the woman to hold those things mm -hmm. in her spirit, mm -hmm. to hold those things in her, in her spiritual womb. And also, when it comes to uh, the other part that we will be discussing later, uh, there is the physical womb. Of course, when the seed is released, mm -hmm. there is the seed of the word, and there is the, the, the seed, the seed that can be can be nurtured, and it produces somebody <coughs> who can be having legs and even eyes and, uh, and whatever.